Hi, I'm Ken with Orion Telescopes and Binoculars, and this is the Orion HDX 110 equatorial mount. It is by far our biggest mount to date, the biggest one that we've come out with. It's truly an observatory class mount, and we'll go through and show you exactly why. The two main reasons, uh, first of all, the weight capacity. This will hold 110 pounds worth of equipment. Now that doesn't mean 110 pounds uh, combined with the counterweights. That means you can have a 110 pound telescope and however many counterweights you need to balance it. This will hold a lot of weight. Uh, I know what you're thinking. It's like, well, who has a 110 pound telescope? Well, it's not just as simple as that. Smaller telescopes will track very accurately on this. So if you have a 10 inch uh, astrograph, eight inch uh, reflector, one of the bigger Cassegrains, uh, it still may not come anywhere close to 110 pounds, but holds it very, very accurately for long exposure photographs. Now, speaking of long exposure photographs, the second part that makes this a, an observatory class telescope is the tracking accuracy. Three arc seconds, plus or minus three arc seconds for the periodic error. So that means six arc seconds total of wander. And that's before you do any kind of periodic error correction. So a very low periodic error out of the gate without any corrections built in. All right, well, let's go through some of the features and uh, take a closer look. The mount itself features closed loop electronics, so once you've got it polar aligned and you've done the alignment routine, uh, the computer alignment routine, and you're pointing at something, you can move the scope by hand if you wanted to without using the hand controller to a different object in the sky. The computer will still know where you're pointing, so if you, let's say, then uh, went to the hand controller and pressed go to the original object, it will go right back to it. So there's no getting lost. The mount will not get lost. On top here, uh, it features a Lozmandy style wide dovetail bar. So any of the larger mounts, uh, or the larger telescopes that use the Lozmandy bars will work with this. And we sell a variety of accessories to attach your telescope onto the uh, mount. If you look on the side over here, uh, we feature a large jack screw for adjusting the telescope up and down without needing any uh, tools. The azimuth adjustments are on the side here, left and right, so polar aligning is, uh, is quite accurate and, uh, and very simple. Up on top, the power cord is threaded on and uh, it won't pop out on you in an inconvenient time. Uh, it's a nice locked uh, power cord, so no worries there. On-off switch, there's a snap cable for uh, your compatible Canon camera. On the side over here, you've got the ports for the auto guider and the hand controller. And then speaking of the hand controller, it's uh, a standard 40 plus thousand object database. So there's uh, any number of different databases based on the object, uh, the NGCs, the ICs, the Messiers, planets. Uh, if you don't know what you want to look at, there's a tour function. So it will uh, suggest any number of things for your time of night and uh, time of year. The pier itself on the HDX 110 is extremely robust in and of itself. Uh, it features fixed legs, so there's no adjustment on the height of the legs. Uh, that's, in, again, in keeping with that 110-pound weight capacity. You want it as solid as possible with no moving parts. To adjust the leveling of the tripod, it's definitely possible. We, uh, give, you th we give you three leveling screws that fit below the uh, tripod legs. Simply loosen the base of it, rotate through the helical thread here, uh, and you can adjust the leveling so even at your observing site you can get it perfectly level. Then you just lock it back down and you're ready to move on to your polar alignment or the, uh, the uh, height adjustment. So speaking of the height adjustment, uh, let's say you have a large reflector with a tall eyepiece or a uh, large refractor with a very low eyepiece. You can adjust the height of the central pier. Simply unlock the, uh, the bolts on the side and then move the peer through the central hub lower or higher uh, until you get the exact position that you want. So here we have the HDX110 uh, with a 10 inch astrograph on top of it. And a scope this size wouldn't even make the, the mount sweat. It wouldn't even feel this size. Um, it can hold a lot more, like I said, 110 pounds. So you could have a side-by-side -side dovetail bar on this, or dovetail plate, and hold two telescopes this size on top. Uh, of course, you can have a polar a, uh, a guide scope on the side, or maybe an off-axis prism. So there will be more weight that you're gonna throw on it than this uh, once you're set up with the entire astrophoto setup. But it, this mount will hold it. It comes with two counterweights. I'm, I'm only showing it here with one because that's what balances with this scope uh, with no other accessories. But uh, uh, with two counterweights, um, it'll hold this plus all the astrophoto uh, accessories that you need. So again, 110 pound weight capacity and very low periodic error, three plus or minus three arc seconds, makes this thing an excellent 
mount for astrophotography with whatever telescope that you want to throw on top of it. Now this is a very robust mount, which means uh, it is heavy. So to make it easier to transport, we've included these large heavy duty handles on the side. So when it comes time to move it off of the mount, simply loosen it up here, grab the handles, lift it off. Once again, this is the HDX 110. It combines 110 pounds of weight capacity with extremely low plus or minus three arc second periodic error. Uh, thank you very much. Clear skies.